Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio for February. You know, I wanted to say September, and I don't know where September is coming from, but that's what I wanted to say. I know it's coming for February. I mean, I know this is for February, but I wanted to tell you September. So I don't know if something happened in September or something is going to happen in September. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody born in September. Something to do with September. September is prominent here. I don't know why. But anyway, this reading is really for February 2020. Now I just see a rainbow, which means the difficulty is over. So that's peace and blessings when you see there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So hey take it for whatever it is. We're going to get one of these. What do we have for Scorpio for February? Hmm. What do we have for Scorpio for February? Big mess by the looks of things. Ooh, hole in the soul, but it does happen to be reversed, so that's good. So when it's reversed, it means it means that that hole is healing. It means that hole is healing, right? Something is healing. Um, right? I mean, obviously, hole in the soul, it must be things are getting better. Things are starting to get better. Things are not feeling so painful, right? The, the pain may be healing. Perhaps you're going to meet somebody that is going to fulfill that void. If there's been a void, perhaps, you know, the void is going to end. All right? Um... Hole in the soul. We're going to go ahead and read it. Your childhood wounds are creating a hole in your soul. One way your childhood wounds disrupt an extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experienced as perpetual, as a perpetual empty feeling. If as a child you tried to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family dramas, then you adopted a false self. When you lose your authentic self, you disconnect from your true feelings, needs, and desires. Instead, you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Being detached leads to profound loneliness and isolation, as you are always mourning your true self. This card encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and mourning the abandonment and the neglect you felt. We have child abandonment issues here for somebody. And maybe that's what you need to work on is healing your inner child. And perhaps that is what has been happening, okay? Because as you saw, this did come out reversed. So it's healing. There's, there's a phase of healing that is going on within you. And, and you should be starting to feel better by the looks of things. So let's see. Let's get a couple of these for Scorpio before we move forward. Scorpio for February. One. financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past so some sort of financial gain is coming one card please here it is gavel involvement with the law now I was going to say for some of you this could be an inheritance of some sort that is coming um, doesn't have to be but there is going to be some sort of involvement with the law Okay. Interesting. You're going to gain something financial and it could be ordered in your favor. So some you may be getting something that that you are due and it could be and and because of the childhood issues, you know, it could be that's why I said inheritance. So I'm not sure if that's what it is. It may or may not be. Um What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for, I wanted to say September again. 
Ooh, your challenge is a partnership, is a union. I think there's definitely been some abandonment issues with the Five of Pentacles. That is abandonment. That's ghosted, being left behind. Right? So that's where you're at right now. Maybe you have been ghosted just recently, or you've been left behind. You've been suffering. You've been going through some hard times. Maybe there's been some financial bur burdens, or you feel like a social outcast. You know, you struggle. somebody is struggling, obviously. They're on thin ice, and it could be financially, okay? But it looks like something is going to happen, okay? Something's going to come through for you. The challenge is a partnership, is a union, who are somebody that you're working with. There's a challenge in regards to a partnership, a union working together. So I'm not sure what is going on. Down here below you with the chariot reversed, there's emotions that are in the way. Somebody's having a hard time mastering, mastering their emotions, hiding their feelings. So there's some hidden emotions here, put it that way. Um, somebody's probably not handling themselves in the best manner what do we have in the past mm. and in the future well you gotta find the strength to master your emotions there Scorpio you do we got somebody here that's having a really hard time keeping it together emotionally you know, feeling a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-confidence. There's a lot of darkness here. There is. There is. And I think that your challenge is working together with somebody, you know, opening up. I think we have somebody here that is having a hard time opening up and probably trusting. And it goes all the way back to your childhood. So somebody's childhood experiences, but maybe there was a lack of a mother. Okay, maybe there was an absent mother or somebody that didn't get taken care of, right? The Empress reversed is, is a mother that doesn't take very good care of her children. Okay, and that is what is, a, but that's what is being seen. That's happening right now. That is what is above you, right? So that's, that's not hidden. That's the truth, okay? The fact of the matter is, is right now, um, on the surface, we have somebody here that isn't a very good mother whether this is some your mother or it's somebody that you're dealing with now or it could be you if this is you this is a woman and it is a woman that is not a very good mother she doesn't take very good care of herself she may have an image problem she doesn't know her worth she doesn't know her value she doesn't even know what tender loving care is and she probably doesn't know what tender loving care is because she didn't get it as a child so yeah this could be you if you are the feminine if you are the male watching this, this could be your mother or the woman that you are dealing with. Maybe it's your wife or your girlfriend or somebody that you thought you were interested in. This person is unhealthy. They have an unhealthy self-esteem. They don't ha they lack self-worth. And it probably goes all the way back to their own childhood, whoever this person is. In the past, this is unhealthy, toxic, um... I mean, the devil reversed, that is, that is, uh, you know, the devil reversed can be extremely, an extremely healthy, toxic situation that somebody was in. You know, a deep, 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 dark place. Things, things may have, you know, hit rock bottom in the past, but that's the past, right? Somebody was suffering really, really, really bad. And, you know, now that it's broken free, broken free from this suffering, broken free from this uh, unhealthy situation. So I think that we do have somebody here that, you know, has reached rock bottom and they've already reached that pit. Okay. And now they're stepping out. They're stepping out onto thin ice, right? Yeah. It's scary. It is scary. And it may be, you know, there's a new person here that wants to help them, you know, that wants to help them to move forward, wants to help them to heal. But there's a lack of trust. There is definitely a lack of trust. Let's get the rest of the cards, why don't we? Moving to a better place. Is it worth it? Is something worth it? Is it worth staying where you're at? Now, in the future, there's, there's, I mean, this is your future, your near future. There's weakness, okay? There's weakness. There's lack of courage. There's lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem. You, you, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 
You know, you may be feeling inadequate. You don't believe in yourself. We're going to get another card. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody. If this isn't you, this could be somebody in your future that, do, future that doesn't have respect for others. This could be somebody you're dealing with. It could be Leo. This person doesn't have respect for others. This person um, has low self-esteem and needs to be in control at all times. Very controlling individual. So this could be, this is in your future. So be careful with who you are dealing with. You know, we get people that are looking for weak people. They look for people that don't know their value. That would be your narcissist, okay? So just be careful. Be careful. Hmm. Um, now, the overall outcome, please, of this. Oh, seeing something clearly. So there's gonna, you're going to get some sort of clarity. Some, some sort of truth is going to be revealed this month that is going to bring you clarity. It's like it's going to reveal something that was hidden, okay? Because both of these are some, something being revealed, okay? Something is going to be revealed that helps you to get clarity on a situation this month. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, um, Capricorn, I've, or a Pisces, or a Pisces. Somebody um, hasn't been telling the truth to you, and I think that you know it. I think your intuition has been telling you that. But there's a need here. There's a need for attention, right? There's a need for uh, companionship. There's a need for love. There's a need for tender, loving care. So when we weren't nurtured as a child, we tended to, to anybody that gives us attention, we tend to grasp onto. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that needs to find their strength that they are lacking. Somebody is lacking inner strength. They're lacking self-esteem. They're lacking the ability. They're lacking the willpower. They're lacking the discipline to hold their head up high and not let themselves be abused okay there's some sort of abuse here and it's whether it's whether it's drug abuse or it's mental abuse or it's verbal abuse or whatever it is there's some sort of abuse here that is being allowed because of the lack of love it's it's some sort of attention negative attention is attention right so anyway i feel as though uh right now you are being told to keep going, to go, keep going, go, go, go. This is in your now position down here. So right now, your advice, right now, your advice is to move on. Leave that trouble behind. Leave that situation behind. Do not look back. Go by yourself. Don't, don't, don't turn around. Go someplace else. Go to that place that you are thinking about going. Okay. Cause you've been thinking about it. Go, go. Um, externally you know should you stay or should you go that's what's going on in regards to whoever you're dealing with because this is the others in your environment they're probably wondering if you're going to leave they're wondering if you're going to stay they're like what 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 is what are you scorpio going to do next this person is wondering what you are thinking they're wondering if you're going to stay or if you're going to go and your hopes and fears. I think there's fear of rejection. There's fear of growing old and alone. There's fear of uh, vindictiveness. Fear of what this person's going to do if you do leave. I think you maybe you're fearful of that. You may be. It may be um, you have some sort of. Uh, well, this is in your. This is in your hopes and fears. What you know? I think that you're. You may be intimidated. You may be fearful. You maybe maybe there's anger, maybe there's bitterness, maybe maybe there's something you need to deal with that you are burying. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like you are burying your own truth. You're burying your own. Uh, you're in denial. I feel like there's some sort of denial here. Um, hmm. nasty you may be fearful to move to a better place because of nasty behavior what is this person gonna do if i you know move on so anyway uh the overall outcome the moon reverse is some sort of reality check some sort of truth being revealed okay um 
there's definitely no trust here and somebody is very, very fearful. There's some sort of, of paranoia. And we do have an absent mother, okay? These are both absent mother and they're reversed. Somebody is having a really hard time finding somebody that is worth keeping because they're so needy, okay? We have a very needy individual here that lacked love when they were a child. And so this person... uh is, is grasping on to people that don't know what love is because it's something, it's any kind of attention, you know? It is. it is. I'm just sorry. I know somebody doesn't want to hear that. Um, there is definitely an absent mother here, somebody that is not a good mother, and I don't know who it is, whether it's somebody that you're dealing with. This person is deceptive. This person tells lies. This person is weak. This person... Um, doesn't know their value. We also have somebody here that is very vulnerable. They're and they're vulnerable because, and and they're being seen as being vulnerable. It's like you are the magnet for the narcissist. This person is a narcissist magnet because of their vulnerability. Anyway, Scorpio, I feel like. There's a lot of bitterness inside and there's there's anger and there's uh, fear and a lot of mistrust. It's like you, you're having a hard time trusting anybody because of your because of, you know, the lack of, of mothering and whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that is bitter and revengeful and resentful and hateful and hard to love. This person is hard to love and they are hard to love because they did not have a very good mother. And now they don't know how to love themselves. So I don't know who this reading is for. But the the external person, the other person, is thinking, is this worth it? Should I even invest in this person? This person is such a mess. This person is such a mess. And this person is a mess because they don't know their value. So we have somebody here that doesn't know their value. And there's an opportunity for a relationship. But this relationship is on very thin ice. This partnership or the opportunity is about to be lost because this person, the person that doesn't know their value, uh, maybe going back and forth with somebody that is toxic. And that's the way I feel. I feel like they keep on going back with somebody is, that is toxic because this toxic person uh, knows that they need them, knows that they need the attention. It's hard to explain. It's like they keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. When they were, should really, they, it's like they can't truly move forward because they need that, they need that attention. This person, and this person knows that this person is so vulnerable. So what they do is they ghost them. And this person starts to heal. Then they, then they, then they communicate again. They ghost them. They ghost them for a period of time. Then they communicate again to keep this pert that's what a narcissist does okay so anyway i feel like scorpio uh we do have somebody here that uh, is is looking for like a victim and i'm sorry to say that and you may be it you may be it um or they may be the victim uh, you know maybe they were the victim of a lack of love well somebody was obviously let's clarify this strength card reversed we have somebody here that is definitely vindictive we have a vindictive energy here um <sighs> ill ill we have somebody here that is ill and they could be even mentally ill now i don't know who this person is if but if, there's some sort of illness here. And I think that your gut is telling you that somebody isn't telling you the truth. They're hiding who they truly are from you. But the need to be needed, the need for attention is so great. Um, I think that you really need to give deep thought to whoever it is that you're dealing with. They may not have good intentions for you. They are probably looking for somebody that they can control and you may be their uh, target. And I'm just being honest with you. I think there is going to be something revealed this month. Okay. There's going to be something that has been hidden that is going to be revealed. Okay. There is something that is absolutely going to be revealed. You know, the shadow has been hiding it well. It's been hidden well, but not anymore. Okay. Okay. It is definitely going to be revealed. I know that it is. Um, and there could be some, you know, you think about that one, involvement with the law. You know, the law could end up stepping in. 
it absolutely could be end up stepping in. There could be a fight. There, there could be. When you get the Queen of Swords reversed, somebody could get pissed off really fast. In the, you know, especially right around a full moon or a new moon. You know, somebody could get pissed off and end up calling the cops. Okay, just saying. Um, and this could be an accident. This is an emotional outburst. You haven't seen it now below the surface. Okay, the chariot reversed is a disaster ahead, an emotional outburst. So that hasn't been shown to you yet. So in the future, be expected this month with whoever you are dealing with, whether it's you or them, somebody is going to have an emotional outburst and it's going to cause probably, you know, an uproar. All right? So this is this is emotions all over the place. This is something anger. Okay? Scatterbrain. This is this is some sort of you know, angry outburst, I think that is probably going to come. And it's probably from this female, uh, I think it's the female, it could be the male, but I think this female is going to have an outburst because she's so, she's high maintenance. She's very high maintenance because she, she wasn't loved and she wants love, God damn it. And if you don't give her love, she is going to throw a fit. So be prepared for that. I feel like you be prepared for somebody to, uh, and she's going to throw a fit because she wasn't loved when, the chi when she was a child and now she needs it even more. She needs it more than ever. She doesn't even know how to love herself because uh, she wasn't taught, okay? So anyway, that is what I got. Be prepared for, uh, hmm. and somebody might act, because this is relocation and this is relocation. Somebody may end up moving. Okay, somebody could definitely end up moving because, you know, this is just too much. This could, this is definitely too much. Somebody will probably be thinking, you know what? This is too rocky. This is too troublesome. There is nothing going to grow here. I'm going someplace else. So somebody may be going someplace else. So that is what I see. Good luck, Scorpio. All the best.